Have you ever agreed to go somewhere you didn't want to go? Or better yet, agreed to do something you didn't want to do? Only to find yourself frustrated, irritated, burnt out or overwhelmed and feeling angry and resentful and then having that awkward conversation well, if you knew you didn't want to go, why did you agree to come? And if you didn't want to do it, why'd you say you were going to do it? Have you ever wondered how you ended up in those situations? Well, today's video is going to be about how to stop saying yes when you really want to say no. But before we get to that, my name is Tawana T. I, here on my YouTube channel, I talk about self-love, self-care, and how to develop a better relationship with the most important person in your life, and that is you. So, how do we end up in those situations? What I want you to keep in mind is, whenever you say yes, you're saying no to something else. However, when you say no, you're creating space for the yeses in your life that are in alignment with what you want, your goals, your passions, your dreams. So we have to be responsible with our yeses as well as our noes. And that means only saying yes when we want to and saying no when you need to. So why do we keep saying yes when we really want to say no? There are four major reasons, although every situation may be different and there are many other reasons, but there tends to be four common reasons. So number one is you don't want to feel like you're being rude or you're being unkind or unloving and we want people <laughs> To like us I mean who wants to be disliked and we tend we don't want to let people down so we find ourselves saying yes another one is you're afraid of ruining a relationship or hurting people or upsetting people or you know you're wondering what will this do for the relationship maybe they won't talk to me anymore maybe they don't want to be my friend it gets really sticky in professional relationships because then you think about what if i lose my job so you tend to say yes and then you you end up with all of these things you've said yes to and now you're feeling overwhelmed burnt out frustrated angry because you've been over generous and when you have generosity to that point where you have not set any boundaries then that leads into people pleasing and now you're not doing things because you necessarily want to but because you feel like you have to because you don't want to seem like you're a bad person another reason we say yes is because we are afraid of people judging us well if i say no what do people think so that goes in line with not wanting to come off rude or unkind but now you don't want people to feel to talk about you well she's selfish or she just thinks about herself or you know so we don't want to be judged or criticized so we we tend to say yes um, another one is, um, that we fear we gonna miss something. So even though we may be tired, we are, we've been burning a candle from both, both ends. We'll say yes to things knowing that we probably should say no, but just that fear of it may be the next biggest opportunity or maybe a fear of you're not going to have that experience, the what if syndrome. So then you tend to say yes to things that you probably should say no to. So how do you say no? So we're going to go over the top three things to say how to say no and not feel guilty about it and be okay with saying no. The first one is 
So here are my three ways of just saying no. The first one is to be honest. Honesty is the best policy, right? So be clear, not the wishy-washy tentative, like I don't know, or maybe knowing you're not gonna do it. <laughs> and two, not saying yes, when you know you're gonna change your mind, when you know you're not gonna do it, as soon as you say yes, you're already trying to come up with the story as to why you can't do it kind of situation. So just say no if you know you're not gonna do it. That way you can maintain a great relationship and that relationship is not only important for the relationship you have with the other person, but the most important relationship, and that's with yourself. Maintain integrity with you. So what you're thinking and what you're feeling is in alignment with what you're doing. So just saying no when you know you don't wanna do it. The second way to say and saying no is to just be concise. Just say no, don't give this long drawn out explanation, bringing out the violin, and while you're explaining why, well you know, you know the dog has to go to work and I have to babysit the kittens, and you know, my mom, she's going to Mars, like nobody cares. Just say <laughs> no, and you have another commitment, or no, you have something else to do, but just, saying no and and you have another commitment and leaving at, at that um however depending on i will say depending on who it is and the relationship you have with that person if it's a situation where you need to go into uh explanation about why you can't do it there's nothing wrong with that um with going into more detail with you know certain people and the last one it's just being nice about it. Do you know how easy it is to say no to people when you're nice and starting with thank you and ending with thank you? And it could just be something as simple as thank you so much for thinking of me. However, I have another commitment so I won't be able to accept or I won't be able to go or thank you for thinking of me. I really appreciate it. However, I have another commitment. And that other commitment can be a commitment to you and your time and just what you need to do. That could be sitting at home plucking your eyebrows. That could be sitting at home painting your toenails. You are a commitment. You are allowed not to feel obligated and overwhelmed and stressed out. You're allowed just to spend time with yourself so that's important when you are taking care of your well-being so those are my three ways of saying no so i hope that you learned something from this video and that you can take some of these tips in developing a better way to say no and mean it and stop saying yes when you want to say no so check out some of my links below. I have some tools that may be beneficial in you developing that relationship with yourself. So thank you again for visiting my YouTube channel and bye for now.